From being hunted to helping the hunters, the Thunderbolts are evil in nature, but they're to protect them and the ones around them from an even worse threat than them, not belonging to anyone outside of their own shady government, and do not answer to anyone. And with already members of the team established in the MCU, and more to come in upcoming movies and series, the team is slowly but surely coming to the big screen. The MCU seems to be one of the best well-thought universes out there right now, in the movie industry at least. Phase 1 of the MCU focused on gathering all the members of the Avengers, with the next two phases setting up the big bad Thanos. The only matter I do not take seriously, boy, is you. And his quest to collect all the Infinity Stones and save the universe in a rather questionable way. A genocide in which half of the living things in the universe are erased from existence. A few months ago marked the entrance of Phase 4 of the MCU, which so far is just a mix of Disney Plus TV shows and theatrical movie releases, and there still hasn't been an established narrative presented to us. So what is the MCU building up to be? Some believe that one of the combinations of the MCU will be the introduction of the MCU's Thunderbolts, or their sister team, the Dark Avengers. We will not dive too much into detail about the team and their run in the comics, but the thing we have to mention is that they are one of the longest standing teams in the universe, with members coming and going, with the roster constantly shifting, together with the appointed leader at the particular time. The Thunderbolts has been reborn again and again, with the team seen as a force of good, a force of evil pretending to be good, one evil taking down worse threats, and by the looks of it, the team is coming to the MCU, with some members already part of the MCU, who was also part of the team at one point in their comics run. Unfortunately, there is nothing concrete about the debut of the Thunderbolts, but we might have a picture of when their debut might happen. MCU fans have been expecting the news about the movie for so long now, and we think that we might be getting the movie in 2023, in the later months of the year. And considering all the members currently in the MCU, the team is right there. A team which would include the likes of Baron Zemo, probably as the leader of the team, as he has been in his comics run. Then we have John Walker, Taskmaster, Yelena Belova, with some help from the government by the side of Contessa Valentina Allegra. Plus, the MCU still has Thaddeus Ross, who has been a major member in the team in the comics. The date of 2023 seems like a very plausible time period in which the movie might probably get released, or even 2024. Considering the state of the movie, the time of the process a movie takes to be made, we should be fine with that. Comic book readers will be familiar with most of the members that have been part of the Thunderbolts, but general audiences will probably know way less. Thus, given the case, here is what we have prepared for you about the members of the team already in the MCU and the actors who will probably be portraying their roles, plus some potential new characters that might get introduced before the movie comes. So far, there have been a couple of members of one incarnation of the team from the comics already introduced in the MCU, most notably Baron Zemo, portrayed by Daniel Brühl, who played a huge role in Captain America Civil War but was reinterpreted to be more comic book accurate version of the character in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series. He even wears his iconic purple mask. Then we get to see Ghost portrayed by Hannah John Kamen. During the events of Ant-Man and the Wasp, albeit a much more sympathetic looking character rather than her comic book counterpart. She got her powers from being exposed to the energy from the quantum realm, which left her rendered unstable on a quantum level. Yelena Belova was probably the third key member of the team from the comics, as she was introduced in the Black Widow movie, with Florence Pugh in the role. However, she was not the only member to be featured in the movie. We also got to see the debut of Taskmaster. Permission to activate Taskmaster protocol. Portrayed by Olga Kurilenko with the character yet again receiving a much more sympathetic origin story, who was a victim of abuse before being turned into an assassin by her father. As we mentioned before, there is also Thaddeus Ross, portrayed by William Hurd in the MCU. Why are we mentioning him? Well, he has been a part of the MCU for so long, 
which when that is taken into consideration, and the rumors of him following the same fate of his comic book counterpart, with him also becoming the Red Hulk from the comics to the big screen, he is definitely one of the contenders to become the first leader of the organization, which would seem very much possible, especially since he is also one who managed to create his own version of the team Thunderbolts. We also mentioned some new characters which might be joining in the ranks, just like all of the characters listed above. There are certain key members of the comics Thunderbolts team who have yet to make their debut in the MCU and we might have an idea as to when and where they might show up. For instance, there is a speculation that we might get to see Moonstone in the role of a villain in the upcoming The Marvels movie. She has similar powers as the heroine and she also posed as her in the Dark Avengers organization. Then we need Fixer or Techno or rather Baron Zemo needs him. He is the team's resident tech guy, who is also Zemo's most loyal henchman. Atlas, on the other hand, has powers to alter his size, which is an easy contender to make an appearance in the upcoming Ant-Man movie. And last but not least, the biggest name out of all, Songbird, formerly the villain Screaming Mimi, aka Melissa Gold, is something like the heart and soul of the team. She was even an Avenger for a while. Thus, Songbird needs to come as soon as possible. There is almost nothing regarding the plot of the movie. Initial reports have simply suggested that the movie will begin production at the start of 2023, so we are quite away from having anything set in stone regarding the story of the movie and where it may take us. However, we can see that Marvel Studios is certainly making preparations for it, with Baron Zemo shift in the MCU, which might arguably make him one of the key players for the upcoming movie, a character who is here to play a major role in the upcoming events, which will involve the Thunderbolts, a major role in the form of a leader. It is also possible that the team has already begun assembling. Judging by the shady government operative and the likes of Contessa, who has already started to recruit operatives in both the Falcon and the Winter Soldier and Black Widow, specifically Yelena Belova and US Agent, who are both tied to the team in the comics. Contessa is not a complex character just because of her long name, but also because of the backstory we already know from the comics. She is a former lover of Nick Fury but also being a high-ranking Hydra agent. Thus, she would also be perfectly suited for her present role as a secretive government operative, who might also bring in the origin of the MCU's Thunderbolts team. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the Thunderbolts team? If you read the comics, tell us who is your favorite character, but also who do you think will be appointed as the first leader of MCU's incarnation of the team? And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.